Okay, um, changing the plugs on the LR4. And as you can see, it's kind of tight in here. I've done, uh, we're on the driver's side, we're on uh, the first bank here. We've done the first plug, the second plug, the third plug. And now I'm squeezing down there with me flippy floppy light. Oh, oh crikey. To get to the, the fourth plug, which is there. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass to take all this shit out, but I've got to tell you what, in order to get to that fourth plug or the first plug, whichever the hell it is, it's kind of difficult. Um, what you need to do is... This is the second half of the battery tray, and it's held in with these three bolts here, and you have to wiggle it out, take out this take out this flexible connector that goes around the plastic, um, wiggle out the, uh, the controller for the suspension here. I believe this is the integrated transfer case controller, sorry. And then my uh, S-Pod for the controllers, which is, there you go, it's upside down, fastened to the, uh, the wall of this, uh, of this thing, of this battery tray. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take that out. It's a pain in the ass, honestly. It really is. It's so annoying. Um, I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one lot today and then one lot tomorrow. Um, but what you will need is this is a nine. This is a nine sixteenths Ford plug removal tool. It pivots um, and lots of bloody extensions connected together to get this out. Um, but I'll tell you what else is your friend. <laughs> that flexible extension. Um, great. I use this on my, um, when I changed over, you know, uh, when I realized I was going to probably be looking at changing the uh, compressor. I uh, bought one of these. And it actually was tremendous help with getting over the top of the compressor to the bolts on the chassis. So I can't recommend these things enough. They're cheap. They're about 14 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> Get like three of them. Um, they're not that strong. Um, I've not broken one yet, but you know, I'd rather have a backup just in case I did. And I get to a point where I, I can't turn back and fix the damn car. So it's already getting dark. And uh, as you can tell, you know, well, there's the old golf R there in the garage. Um, but it's a real pain in the ass. And then over here, you know, of course, to get to that plug, I'm going to have to wiggle it away around these hydraulic lines here to get the, uh, to get the um, you know, the plug out. My plugs are 105,000 miles, by the way. And it uh, looks like somebody's throwing a grenade in my engine. Um, and this is what they look like. So I'm exactly at 105,000 on this. And, oh, sorry. So there we go, if I can focus on it. Will it? I'm not sure if it will. Come on. Well, I'll leave it there. That's at 105,000 miles on this plug. So, um, they're all about the same, in fact. I, I just, I don't have uh, a video camera. I've just got my cell phone. And uh, I've already told you what I think about the Galaxy S10 waste of money um so anyway stick with the old ones stick with the old note 9 or your uh, s9 um <laughs> junk um anyway so my plug is coffee colored and uh like i said these are all look about the same and these ones are all on 105,000. i'm keeping the plugs just as reference um what i did notice is the old plugs are 
ILK AR6CY10 and the new ones are ILK AR7C10. So we've gone from 6C on the old ones to 7C10 on the new ones. I mean they are the they are the Land Rover plugs and they are the NGK iridiums. There we go. Um, hopefully I can get this freaking plug out without busting it. Because I've got to tell you, it's tight. Sorry, I'm, I'm camera's on the seat of the car now. Um, it's tight. I was going to give you a tight analogy there, but I hadn't better. With this day and age, I could say all manner of tight things, but I'm, I'm not going to. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, the torques. The plug torque on these is 20 newton meters um, or 15 foot pounds. Uh, I think these things are about 18 foot pounds. The the torques nuts to hold uh, the torques bolts to hold the. Um, oh Christ, I can't think. It is Friday afternoon. I need a friggin' beer. Um, on your uh, on your plug, um, your capacitors. I think that's the word for it. I need a freaking beer. But anyway, <laughs> I want to get this done. Get this freaking thing together. Pain in the ass. I'm going to do the other side tomorrow if it's if it's uh, if it's sunny. As you can tell on the other side, Land Rover puts this rubber crap in the way, like all shit that it does. Um, the intake's all got to come out. This useless piece of crap rubber cover, um, and probably the whole battery friggin' box is going to have to come out. So uh, so I can get down to that very end plug, which is down there. <laughs> what a pain in the ass this thing is, I tell you. Um, so yeah, so if you're doing maintenance on these things, it, it, I advise you to take your brain out before you start the job, scrub it, and then when you've done the job, you can put your brain back in and return to normality, because it honestly, it is, it is a bit of a problem. Um, but just take your time with it, and... Uh, the little plastic clips on the end of these, and when you can see that, these little plastic clips, you have to push that little grey piece out on the connector. You have to push the little piece out. So what I've found is, if you use a screwdriver at the front and push it a little bit, you can pop it in, and then you can use your pliers, like needle nose pliers, very carefully to pull out the grey tab, about a millimetre, and then slowly wiggle off the connector. But don't do that right um don't even start that make sure your bolt's nice and tight keep your keep your little threaded allen bolt in there your torx bolt in there take your connector off first otherwise you're going to be rattling around you're not going to be able to get it off because they are quite tight so don't undo this work on the gray piece wiggle it out push it from the the front out to the back get out a millimeter once it looks like it's clear Wiggle it out the pair of needle nose pliers, the whole plug. Then take out your torque, torx bolt here. Take out your uh, capacitor, your charger, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then uh, wiggle it out. It's like a, like a four inch long willy. Um, so take that out and then uh, you can get to your plug and hopefully you've got enough angle on your plug with your, um, you know, with your, with your Ford wiggly wiggly tool here with your knuckle on it. Hopefully there's enough angle um that you can get in and remember it's it's 15 foot pounds uh or 20 newton meters i've got two torque wrenches i don't trust either of them i've got to get them calibrated so um i'm kind of setting it a little bit lower i'd rather put it in not too tight than too tight but yeah there's the v8 it would have been nice if uh It would have been nice if they had have um, given you a bit more room in here because it's a joke. It really is a joke. So uh, these giant wings with all the suspension shit in them, you know, they could have come out, I think, at least another freaking four inches and still left room. But uh, that's the way it goes. Over and out.